Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am filming this video after super long. I felt like I forgot how to film videos. Uh, I don't know when y'all are seeing this in the series of videos, but I'm recording this first. So hi, how are you? Welcome back. Uh, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Join this beautiful family where we talk all about beauty, skincare, makeup and all that good stuff. And for today's video, I'm reviewing two most exciting collabs of this year for me personally. So the first collaboration I'm talking about is the Morphe X Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette which is the artistry eyeshadow palette. It's a gorgeous, colorful, unicorn, Barbie. Dreams eyeshadow palette and the other collection I'm talking about is the Colourpop X Safia Nygaard lipstick collection. So both these YouTubers are some of my iconic most favorite YouTubers. Jeffree Star in his own world, he's an amazing person, amazing YouTuber, amazing personality and Safia is the coolest uh, person on the internet. I really feel she's the coolest person on the internet. Her videos are like therapy for me. If you don't know these two YouTubers, you're really sleeping on some good content. So you need to go Google them, search them and watch their videos because they're very therapeutic. I'm gonna quick give you all a quick run through about how I feel about these products and then I'll jump into the tutorial of how I got this eye look and uh, the lipstick swatches. So first for this eyeshadow palette, this gorgeous eyeshadow palette that behind has the icon himself, Jeffree Star. So in his uh, very patent voice it says, Hi, how are you? He does that with the um, mirror. I really want his mirror. I want all of his stuff. His stuff is gorgeous. It says, we all know I live for making a bold statement, especially with my makeup. The world needs color and I'm serving it up, the up by the pound. I'm so excited to once again create magic with Morphe and bring this beyond stunning palette of velvety vivid shades to life and into your hands. All Jeffree Star approved and created all for you. One touch and you'll be hooked. So dive in and explore your creativity. And then there's a signature and his gorgeous face. And this is what the palette looks like. It's a gorgeous holographic Barbie pink color, just like his own life. And this is what the inside of the palette looks like. It's a beautiful color combination. Like in the US, eyeshadow palettes are launching left, right, center, and it's very difficult to keep up. And sometimes you feel like you don't want any of them. That's how I feel most of the times. But this one eyeshadow palette really caught my eye. So you have to be that unique over there to be able to catch the customer's eyes. And this one did really do that for me. One shade that really called out my name was the shade Millions, which is what's on my eyelids right now. It's this chunky, pasty glitter. It's something I've never felt before. When I apply it on me, I'm super shocked uh, because it feels so different. You have to really touch it to feel it, to understand what I'm talking about. And the whole pinks in this palette, the purples, they are different. They are not something you see in every more burgundy palette, not at all. These are like straight out barbie colors then there is a little bit of a lot of green going on uh, down over here 11 shimmers one chunky glitter and all of theirs are mattes there are i think 35 shades and a very generous gorgeous mirror uh, so all in all it's a beautiful palette all the mattes blended really well Somehow I always find that Morphe brushes collaboration with YouTubers is a much better blending of the eyeshadows and the eyeshadow quality is much much superior to their regular Morphe palettes. So I have one of their regular Morphe palettes, the 15S palette and I didn't really like the colors, the blending or uh, the pigmentation on those eyeshadows but the Jaclyn Hill palette was a gorgeous palette in itself and once again this one is a gorgeous palette in itself. So I really recommend the Morphe collaborations over the Morphe eyeshadow, regular eyeshadow palettes and uh, just like the James Charles palette was also an artistry palette, somehow did not attract me so much because I don't play with those colors that much. Like it had so many and it had such rainbow shades that I don't really uh, dive so much into those looks. Of course for somebody who experiments with their makeup every day, that palette would be more uh, up their alley but this palette is more up my alley because it has more wearable artistry colors if you can understand what I mean. Uh, also I got this on discount. Uh, all my shopping was done on uh, Ulta and uh, Colourpop website abroad and my aunt bought it here. 
my uh, sister sister in law bought it here so we have lot of relatives who keep coming and going so i make sure to make use of their trips and call one or two things whatever i feel like i really want to get my hands on uh if you don't have relatives coming from abroad and you want to get something i'm going to list uh, some instagram pages in the description section who have authentic international makeup from whom i have shopped and their prices are also very feasible so they just add customs and everything to their mrp so that you don't have to be paying the customs and you will just get it at that particular price from them also there was discount on this so i got it at a cheaper price because a fall sale was going on I think it's thirty-five dollars, but I picked it up for twenty-eight. Okay, let's talk about the ColourPop X Safia Night lipsticks. These are. This is the reason I wanted to order on ColourPop. Okay, I was waiting for this to launch, and somehow, like my stars aligned together, and this launched, and my sister-in-law, my sister, sister-in-law was coming down. So I quickly went ahead and ordered these lipsticks. Uh, if you don't know what exactly Safia is famous for and why she's doing lipsticks, because she's not a beauty YouTuber. She does these experimental bad makeup size videos where she mixes and melts her lipsticks together. She's done that with multiple lipsticks, all her lipsticks, Sephora lipsticks, Ulta lipsticks. She's gone ahead and melt, uh, mixed her foundations together, her highlighters together, everything. She does this bad makeup size. So the entire unique carton of this is inspired by that bad makeup size. All the mixing happening over here, and these are authentically the colors she came up with in every one of her mixing videos. So Berry Me in lipsticks is actually her first ever. Uh, lipstick mix and the color that came out. This is the original, the OG one, and this is the inside of the packaging, which is also very true to her. It has these bats made up on it because that's what she stands for. It says Safia Nigar X ColourPop down here, and then it's the regular lipstick of ColourPop, which is again a beautiful formula. ColourPop Lux lipsticks are. Amazing, very high quality, high pigment formula, and again on the bullet they have the bat imprinted. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous collection, and it's it's literally a collector's item for me. But also the colors are so variable that I know I'm gonna get the most use out of it. So that was the first one, which was Bury Me in lipsticks, and the second one is Fred. Which is the Franken red, so short for Fred, and that's a beautiful crimson red color. Ahead in the video, you'll be able to see the swatches. You'll be able to see the lipsticks in action. You'll be able to see uh, the eyeshadow palette in action. So if you want to see the whole tea on all the collab and everything on my eyes and on my lips, then please keep on watching. Okay, so like you can tell, I've done my base makeup, I've done my bronzer, powder, and all of that. I've not done blush and highlight because this is an artistry palette. It has a lot of colors going on, so I was thinking I'll use maximum colors from this uh, for today's look. So I'm going to try and incorporate something uh, as a blush and as a highlight. Like the colors which are mostly attracting me are the shade Million, which is like this. Super chunky glitter. It's not even like shimmer. It's a super chunky pressed glitter, and this Barbie color self-made. And I want to do something on the lines of uh, what Jeffrey's main um, aura is all about. Like he's like a Barbie doll, like a male Barbie doll. So I want to go on those vibes. Although I do a lot of Barbie looks on my channel today, I want to try and uh, do that. For my eyes, and maybe next time I can incorporate the greens because there's a lot of green also happening in this palette. So I'm going to try to use a bit of Los Angeles, which is more on the brownie side, and a little bit of um, Self Made, which is the Barbie pink color for my blush. Hopefully they're not very pigmented. This quite a lot of kickback. Like I pressed. This pan is pretty big, by the way. It's like my face size. And there's too much kickback happening. We dust off the excess. And that's pigmented, okay? It's so pigmented. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is super pigmented. Take my sponge and pick up all these mistakes. So I have a little bit of Laura Mercier over here. So I'm going to cover it as much as possible with translucent powder. Okay, 
This is the maximum blush I've ever put on my face. I don't think it will get any more toned down. So much for the Barbie doll look. I'm gonna look too much like Barbie doll today. Uh, okay, for highlight, I wanna use designer label. That color has been screaming my name. Like even for the inner corner, I wanna go in with that. So I'm gonna use the shade designer label on a more uh, defined pack 311. I usually don't use this for highlight, but this is what Jeffrey and Lipstick Nick do. They put a very precise highlighter. This is a very nice highlight for me. Can be a little too white for my skin, so I'm mixing a little bit of Dog Mom to add a little pink shift. For the most exciting part, which is the eyes, oh my god, I've been waiting for this since so long. This palette is so convenient because it has such a big mirror. I'm going to first go in with the shade back because it has a more of a pink undertone to it on this fluffy Amazon Kabuki brush and just lay it down as this base color to let all the shadows blend well on it. It's a nice pretty pretty color. Usually colors like these don't show up on my skin but this one is. Once again with the matte there is like a lot of kickback and they are a little dusty. Next I'm going in with the color Self Made which is really calling out my name and I'm using it on the e.l.f. crease brush dusting off the excess placing it very specifically in my crease. I'm going to raise my eyebrows and make sure this is just in my crease. For the outer corner I'm taking the shade Mogul which is a lovely purple. Jeffrey really takes pride in his purples because they are difficult to make and so he always like I've seen that he tries to incorporate purples and greens a lot in his palette. That's why I wanted to go either with a green eye look or a pink eye look. For the purple I'm concentrating it just on the outer corner and going in with circular motions to increase the depth. Now I'm going in with the most, most beautiful color ever, that is millions. Oh, this color just you want to put your finger in the shadow. Feels heavenly. Oh my god, I can't wait to put this on my eyes. There are so many gorgeous colors in this palette. Oh shit. Oh flip, this is chunky glitter. Can you look at that? You guys, this is a formula like never before. I've never felt anything like this in the in so many palettes that I have or so many eyeshadows I've used. I've really never felt anything like this. It's glued down chunky glitter. It's gorgeous. The mogul is not giving me that much of a purple look. I want to add something more darker. But I'm scared to do a brown or black, so I'm going in with the shade Calabasas. Once again, I'm placing Calabasas in the same shade places I placed Mogul, but I'm taking it more in my crease. For the lower lash, I'm going to do Self Made and Mogul. For my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going in with Designer Label and taking this on the pack 202 brush so for lipsticks i have two uh, like i told you all i have the safia nigar x color pop uh, lux lipsticks i have the shade berry me lipsticks and fred i'm gonna give you all a swatch of both and then uh, let me see which one i want to use mostly i'm gonna go in with uh, berry me lipstick so this is the shade red which is the franken red color uh, and I'm going to Ooh, these are super luxe super pigmented beautiful color actually thinking of going with this one 
Let me swatch bearing moon lipsticks and then decide. This is so gorgeous. It's not super red. It's more on the crimson side. Yeah, it's definitely crimson in color. Very beautiful color. And I love the pigmentation on these lipsticks. They are one swipe max pigment. Swatching like Jeffree Star today on my palm because I'm wearing full sleeves. This is also gorgeous. This color is more up my alley because I love reds. But this is also gorgeous pink. So I'm thinking I'll mix both because Jeffrey has a mauve uh, and an ombre lip going on over here. So I'm thinking I can do that too uh, by mixing both these colors. Just look at this color. Actually, it's beautiful. I'm gonna fill everything in and then just dab Berry Mean lipsticks in between. Taking a little bit of Berry Me, just in the center. It's actually not showing up that much, of course, because the spread is very dark. But in person, I can see that it's neutralized a little bit of the red. Turn it a little pink. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. This is what my eyes look like and I'm really liking the entire look. The whole Barbie vibe. There's a lot of Barbie vibes happening on my channel lately. But I really really like it. I don't know why I don't like pink as a color but in my makeup I have started to like pink eyeshadow a lot more than I like pink lipstick. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did then please don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new to my channel then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video next Sunday. Bye guys. Love you all. Mwah.